what I want to do is I want to test an AND gate. If an AND gate gets a charge on both of its inputs, if an AND gate gets a charge on both of its inputs, then it'll generate an output. It's that simple. But it has to get a charge on both of its inputs. Not just one, both. Let's do it. Let's actually test it. And I'm going to test it using multimedia logic. I click on draw, and I'm going to draw um, a control vice, device called an AND gate. I'm going to put it right here. Wherever I click my arrow, it's going to show up. All right. Now, I also want to get two other devices, switches. One to turn this guy on, the other one to turn this guy on, the two inputs. All right. So I'm going to click on draw and control device and um, hmm, hmm, hmm. no, not control device, input device, a switch. And right there. And another one right here. So now I have two switches. One other thing I want. And well, first let's go back to non non-switch mode. Every time I click, it's going to put a switch there. Go to selector and back to arrow mode. Uh, move around the screen mode. And I uh, take this opportunity to move them around. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an LED over here. So, draw, and that's an output device, LED. And I want that guy over here. All right, go back to draw and selector mode. So, now I'll show you why. Because if I click over here, it keeps putting these guys here. Yes? Every time I click, it puts another one there. So I have to go back to my selector mode. All right, and get rid of these excess LEDs now. Now, I'm going to put the LED right there. I want to connect these fellows up. I want to wire them together. All right, so let's wire them together. How do I do that? Draw, wire. And I'm going to draw a line from this little knob to that knob. And bingo. I let go, and it's done. From this knob to this knob, and bingo, it's done. Now I draw a line. I click, and I drag to this knob, and I let go, and bingo. That's how simple this is. Unbelievable. What an amazing program. All right, now I go over to uh, Draw, go back to Selector. Now everything is pretty much where I want it to be. I could move everything over a tad, make it centered. It looks nicer this way. Now I'm going to simulate the program and test this. Click on Simulate, go to Run. This is an AND gate. So this input has to have charge on it, and this input has to have charge on it to work. Well, both lights are off now. They're at state zero, state zero. So, what do I do? I turn it on. How do I turn it on? See where the one is? I click there, and up it comes. Shut it off, I click on the zero. Turn it on, I click on the one. What if I click any place else? Oh, it does it anyway. See, it's a toggle key. Click on it once, it changes to the uh, to the opposite state. So this guy's on now. This guy's off. No light. This guy's off. This guy's on. No light. But if this guy is on and this guy is on, that's an AND gate, this is on and this is on, I get light. So, that's what an AND gate does. It allows light through when this input and this input both are on, in a state of on. They have a one across them. Then you get light. Any other combination, no light. So, what does that do? That pretty much explains the whole program. So, but that is the AND gate in a nutshell. I 
Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. Um, so long. From Gary D. Seven Seven Seven.